What is up, my Craigie crew? It's the Craigie Blades, and today we are here in the Deadly Tower of Monsters. I've seen this game a lot on Steam. What is this, leather? It feels like leather. Oh, it's real leather. Anyway, I've seen this game a lot on Steam, and basically, what this game is, it's like... A spin-off of like old B horror movies. Um so <laughs> Betty and Tabitha traveled to Tibet. Uh so I'm just gonna start the game. Um so <laughs> I don't really know how to describe this game. I haven't played any of it yet, but I looked up a bunch of reviews because I was debating getting it because I wasn't really sure. Uh, but I've only heard really good things about it. So I'm really excited to get into the game. So all of the enemies are like all of these weird, like cheesy B horror movie monsters. Uh, and there's a big tower that you just have to go up and fight all these monsters. So I'm not really sure if there's like a legit story involved with the game. Uh, again, I don't really know all that much about it. I just wanted to just hop in and play because it looked really cool and it had really good reviews and it looked it looked really interesting. So we're gonna go with a new game. See what's happening. What is are we in space? Aha the deadly tower of monsters. Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed <laughs> this film back in uh, well it feels like a century ago. So, <laughs> and the studio asked me to provide a comment. I'm just going to let him talk. Release. Hold on. And wham, straight into the action. No <laughs> straight into the action. That's what we did back then. Oh yeah, just Crash run and gun all the time. Pop pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspeed. Dick Starspeed. Awesome. In which space explorer Dick Starspeed reaches the mysterious planet. Okay, cool. So what I forgot to say about the game was that it's like it's like you're playing a game of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to go further into that, but no. Okay. Reactor is damaged. Oh no. That I am Stranded on this alien planet. Oh, no. Here's my ship right here. It's a pretty badass ship I don't know if we have any other weapons, but let's get going. So let's left mouse button to attack I've got that down mm, Yes, why does he? Cool awesome so, this is really pretty. I really like this. Ah, our first enemies. Let's fight them. Greetings, mm. citizens of Grimoria. I am <laughs> Speed, and I come in peace. I come in peace while I'm holding this weapon above my head. Weapon when he was talking mm. about yeah. Maybe one day we'll mm. go back and see Giet into a sandwich. A sandwich, yes. That looks lovely. Oh, you guys want to fight me? Oh, yes, I've got my, my space weapons. Oh, you will not be able to destroy me. Ooh, that guy did some awesome kicks. But these kicks aren't good enough to defeat me. No, no. Kick him in the nuts and bolts. Haha. -ha. Get it? Because they're space robots? I'm not sure how I feel about the narration. Okay, I don't know how to f fight that, dude. I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun at all. Okay, so I can get over that. And I gotta fight this dude. Can I hit him off the ledge? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did anyone hear the Wilhelm scream? Just a blow. Um, those, those guys, those pterodactyls look real, real. I can't really control how I'm falling. All right, so the silo. I've got to, I've got to land on the silo. Okay. Uh... Uh, and ha! Yes, we should be good. We should land safely. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down, and yep, all your gravity-related problems. Exactly, just like Assassin's Creed. Okay, so this looks real cool. The camera seems kind of weird. I'm not sure if I really like it, but we're gonna go with it because that's all we can do. Silver cog. What does that do? I have no idea. All right, so how do I get in there? Do I have to use the silver cog to do something? <gasps> There's dinosaurs over here. <gasps> ah, let's go say hi to the dinos. I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm back. Sorry, I got stuck and I had to start over. But I'm ready to fight these dinos. <laughs> That's really. 
It's really funny. Frame by frame. <laughs> It'd be done with computers, but where's the Gotta. artistry in that? Mm. So all the look at how the dinosaurs are moving. So he's talking about frame by frame because they look like they're stop motion, which is what the uh, pterodactyls look like as well. This is really funny. So I don't, they're they're using like a bunch of like cliches from old movies and stuff, which is it's really cool. I don't know, there's a lot of charm and wit. I've got a ray gun. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do I have ammo? No, but it can overheat. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. The first boss fight. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Every dino is a meat eater in my book. And I've got to destroy him because he's trying to destroy me. Okay, 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 I can't get hit by his head thwomping down. No, I can't get hit, and I'm not even getting close to him. What is, what is hitting me? Ah, oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, there were bombs on the ground, I didn't even see that. <gasps> Who is this? Do I have to fight monkeys? Hello. Help, the emperor's evil white apes are attacking. <gasps> the evil white apes, we gotta destroy him. We've gotta help him, I'm sorry. Ah, it's sort of hard to commentate over this just because there's a lot of narration going on. Hey, you don't beat up my friend. That's my friend. I will destroy you and all of the white apes, the evil white apes. Are you okay, pal? Your friend, he's hurt. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Go back from whence you came, evil mankeys. Do, do, do. I, I don't really like the camera. I wish that I could rotate it some way, but how curious. Oh no! What is that? They dissolved into gold? There must be some evil scientist behind all of this, trying to strike it rich. I like this. This is definitely a game that like, I would play while I'm waiting for videos to render and shit like that. Cause I, I really like this a lot. I don't know, there's a few things that are like obviously wrong with it. Um, I mean, not wrong with it, but things that I would personally change, like the camera, and I, I don't, mm. I, I get, <laughs> okay, so I lowered the voice volume, that was the thing that I was trying to talk about, but the narrator kept interrupting me, I left the subtitles on so you could look at it still, that's the only thing from, a, like video game axe point axe point from a video game aspect like it's totally fine to have a lot of narration In fact, that's something that I like when I'm just playing a game for myself uh, Especially these kind of games because you have something to listen to while you're while you're going around and fighting the enemies That was amazing, but wait, what did he say? That was amazing, but what but what? I don't know what you're trying to say to me So I like that when I'm just playing by myself and then I just have something to listen to Am I gonna have to fight King Kong? The great mega gorilla. By the way, thanks for taking my place as the sacrifice. We'll never forget you. <gasps> the sacrifice? Oh no! Oh no, there he is! The stop motion chip. Really top mo motion, stop motion effects. <laughs> Did you see how the hand was not connected to the body at all? All right. <gasps> oh yeah! We've got a hot babe on our side. Oh yes, the poking stick. I've gotta poke him. Poke him good. Oh, okay, so we've gotta, uh, uh, I don't know how to use my special powers. Z? What is Z? Oh, they just incinerate everyone. Everyone. So the thing that I was talking about before, from a YouTuber standpoint, it's hard sometimes to like, have a game that isn't like super rich in story and have a lot of narration, like, the shit that he's saying isn't very important. It's just like stuff that he's saying. You know what I mean? Um, so like, if it were very story rich, like The Last of Us or something has a lot of dialogue in it. But that's fine because it, it contributes to the story. This doesn't really because all we're doing is just like fighting monsters and stuff. But at the same time, it is cool to just have that in the background being like, yeah, this is like a funny thing that happened with the shit. Totally did a great job of explaining that. Oh no! Is he gonna eat him? We've gotta save him. Oh, okay, so we've gotta follow him. Oh no, Dick Starspeed is back. He's back in action, baby. 
All right, so how do I switch characters? Or can I switch characters? I don't know if I can or not. What is your name? Scarlet Nova. I like how they all have like those cheesy, those cheesy names. Of course, it's the Emperor's daughter. <laughs> it's like the daughter that's like going against her dad's wishes and going out and fighting and stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the voice back up a little bit. I turned it down a little bit low. Because I do want to hear the characters, but, okay, teleporting. So, we'll be seeing our first example of teleportation okay. being used by Scarlet right here. Alright, so how do I use this? Oh, left mouse button, teleport. How do I teleport? Oh! We be teleporting, baby! This is not my father's chambers. Oh! <laughs> I knew there was an evil villain behind everything! Disobeyed me for the time of time, Scarlet. Is that the? Enjoy an eternity in the Tower of Eternal. <laughs> so is that for all eternity? Okay. Oh yes. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip through that. So I guess that was her father. So, like I said, going against like her father's wishes and going out and stuff. Uh, stereotypical thing. <laughs> so let's jump, wait, wait, and survive the deadly fall. Wonderful! Oh, yeah, new weapon! A vertical ray gun. What? So, F while standing near the edge and aim. That is so cool. That's awesome! That's super cool. Okay, can I go up as well? No, only down. Okay. That's super cool, though. I like that. All right, A and D to avoid enemy fire, but I can't go past there. So I need to find a way. I need to find a way to put down these beams as well. Uh, aha. Okay. Over here. Got him. Got him. Cool. Awesome. Now we can jump off the thing. Use our jetpack. All right, so come down here and haha. -ha. Wonderful. Awesome. Ooh, what is that? Oh no! We've got enemies fast approaching, Scarlet. We've got to use the thing. Get him. Got him. Good. Awesome sauce. Ooh, there's a bunch of little dudes coming around. Don't worry. I am a complete badass, so I will destroy all of them. With ease, I might add. With ease. Wonderful. I like this character. I like that gun. That gun is sweet. All right, so I'm assuming we're supposed to be going down there. So let's go right over here. And then we will use the jetpack. Yes, wonderful. Energy Imps Hangout. Cool. Huh. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It is funny to think about. Yeah, the artist. Exactly. You have them do all the hard work while you just sit by and direct, don't you, director? That's the weird thing to think about is, like, technology is so advanced now, especially in the film aspect of things. Like, there's so many things that used to take forever to do. And, like, they had to hand paint them. And, like, I saw this thing on Star Wars the other day. Like, the original Star Wars films, a lot of the backgrounds and the backdrops were hand painted. It just took forever. It's so crazy. It's so crazy to see, like, how far we've come. All right. And use that jetpack. Oh, no! Ooh. Awesome. Ah, uh, of course he did. All right, so we have to activate the teleport terminals manually. How do I do that? I really like, I want to say like the set design because it is like a movie because that's what they're going for when making the game. So I have to manually do the teleportations. So where do I teleport to? Okay, here we go. We're back with Dick. Hey there, Dicky Poo. Ah, I knew you would return. Love interest. You shall help me overthrow the emperor. All right. Mmm, will we be deceived? This is practically Shakespeare in outer space. Oh yeah, totally. And, uh, whoop. Huh? 
What? Patrick, what's wrong with the video? Hey! Uh, sorry, Patrick, sorry. get your shit in gear. Come on. Darn it, we're missing. <laughs> I'm sure it's really good and not cheesy at all. Swap for crack at the sleep chamber. Is this the sleep chamber? Oh, that's sweet. All right, I'm gonna switch back to him. That's so cool. All right, awesome. So, let's keep going. Hello, monkeys. I'm glad that you're on my side. You keep the nuclear ants from crossing the bridge. Nuclear ants? Uh, spoiler alert. Our heroes may or may not find a particular tool that will allow them to destroy those rock barriers later on in the film. Later on in the film. Okay. All right, dinos. You're ready for a nice whooping, aren't you? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, just disintegrate. Yes, go back in time. Is that a T-Rex? Oh. 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 Hello, Mr. T-Rex. Just jump it on your dead body. All right, what is this? What is this? Is that the rest of the tower that I have to climb up? Appear that now is the time for us to climb the deadly tower of monsters. TM. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's awesome. It's like a. F that's right. That's right. You know a movie is gonna be good when they say the title of the film in there. And force push. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I love the little force push. That's sweet. I really like the little tiny details going into this game. It's nice, and it's just really, it's it's really pretty. It's really pretty. So let's use that force push. Force push. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat by some mankeys. Come on, guys. Let me have a chance. Don't murder me! I think I missed something here. Da 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 da. Oh, so we can upgrade weapons as well. That's cool. Okay, so let's upgrade. Let's upgrade that. Ooh, yes. And anything else? No. Okay. Well, we've got we've got our upgrades in. Oh yes. Yeah. I feel the power coursing through my veins. Ah, uh, the squids. Uh, so uh. <laughs> is he an enemy or is he a friend? Because he looks kind of funny and friendly. I kind of like this dude. <laughs> you can see, like, you can see the dude in the costume. You can see the dude's feet under there. That's awesome. That's so funny. I really. I, ah. It's just adorable. It's an adorable little game. Enemies coming from below? Oh no! Oh no! It's the giant ants! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. So we need to get rid of these giant ants. We can't have them coming up here! No! Get out of here, anties! Anti pants, ants in my pants! Alright, look down and shoot. Why can't I shoot them? Uh, hello, Mr. Clid! Hello, Mr. Crab, how you do today? I will destroy you in your sauce shell. Alright, well, I've I've really liked this game so far. I don't know if I'm gonna play more or not on the channel. It depends on what you guys think. I like it, um, so I might be playing more. But I have not decided yet. So let me know what you guys think. I think this game is pretty cool. And like, uh, there are a couple things that just like annoy me a little bit just from a YouTube side of things just because like there's a lot of narration that isn't particularly important that just like sort of interrupts the flow and I could just turn the turn 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 the voices all the way down um but I don't know but it's definitely a really cool game I definitely think that you guys should check it out if you can it's pretty fun and it definitely like could be a game that I could just get lost in for for a while uh so yeah this was fun oh no Oh no! Oh, that's so sad! <laughs> a dick malfunction! Aha! Comedy! Alright, guys, well, I am going to maybe play some more of this and then we'll see a robot in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. Woo! For you to do. Why am I up here? Get off of here. For you to do. What is that? What does it say? Pick it up. Does it say anything? 
Uh, I didn't mean to put it through the ceiling. Can I have that back? 